This is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Midheaven, Stelliums. So I'm going to go cover some more, but I usually like to just stick to Sun, Moon, Rising, but okay. Anyways, for the rest of January 2024, this is... Um, going to be a Celtic cross. All right, here we go. One, two, three. What's the current for Pisces? King of Pentacles. Okay. What is covering? Oh, the Three of Swords is covering it. Yes. Oh, looks good. What is on top? Nine of Swords. What's at the bottom? Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. What is in the recent past? Six of Swords is in the recent past. What is possibly soon to come forwards? The Eight of Wands. Okay, what is your frequency right now? Mm, no, not that one. Frequency right now. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Dang. All right, I do get somewhat of a storyline here so far, but let's look at the environment environment outside environment ace of wands hopes and fears no. hopes and fears Two of Cups. Overall, okay, it's been Three of Pentacles. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups <clears throat> energy there. So what I see in your current right now is that there is a King of Pentacles, could be an earth sign. Um, if not, that could be uh, someone who is very financially stable, independent, uh, more mature. So, but what's crossing or covering is the Three of Swords. So something in regard to this individual, with you and this individual, um, there's some heartache there. There's some pain there. Maybe there's some... Um, trauma there something is just stuck and has pain related at the top we do have the nine of swords so i do see that you have a lot of things on your mind um maybe your sleep schedule has been off perhaps there's a lot of different ideas that you're having but it's kind of it it can kind of throw you off of your um natural your natural body clock, if that makes sense. Um, I just get insomnia here, or maybe not insomnia, but just not feeling well rested and just being tired a lot <clears throat> because of all the things that you've had on your mind. At the bottom though, um, you do have a lot of 
very uh like great potential so there's a lot of potential there for you um i think this is built up over time over experiences in your life um you know uh, trial and error over time you've kind of gone through the ringer and had to experience different things but as doing that it's added to your knowledge base and so now you have a better grip as to what you can really create and this could be towards uh, finances, right? Obviously, because the pentacles, but I mean, this could be in regards to anything really, because it's just a bountiful card to get. Um, and then it does show support for you too. So um, in the recent past, it's the six of swords. So whether you kind of, uh, you kind of detached yourself from something, um, you let go of something, you let go of something, but for some reason, this is, um, there's still something here, right? Maybe it's, mm, I don't know, because that's the current. This is in the recent past. Perhaps this isn't so recent, but this is in the past position. Um, it could be in regards to this uh, King of Pentacles here, which has the Three of Swords covering it. So, just because it's something that was let go already, but the pain still resides there. But you're still holding the fort. You're still, you're still not, it's not like you're being thrown off of your way, but it's still there, right? It still is something you have to kind of wrestle with. Um, and you are soon to come forwards. This is a very, um, it's not a very detailed analysis as to what's to come, but it does speak to something uh, coming quickly so um huh the direction it's facing though i see that it is facing your environment um i think it's going to help you this okay little download here this is possibly something that's going to help you move past this this feeling here okay because afterwards with these eight of wands being in the soon to come forwards, do I know exactly the time frame? I really don't. Since it's eight, maybe it's eight months. It could be eight weeks. It could be eight days. But nonetheless, this is facing your uh, your environment, your outside, which is the ace of wands. So also a wands card, but it could be signifying that something um in your environment or outside of you or new things you get into um could be the very thing that helps you kick start whatever you have uh, what your dreams might be something you are really desiring to have so in your free free frequency in your frequency your frequency um is the queen of pentacles so i see this as representing you and I see this as representing you. And um, this could be like a marriage thing um, because yours came up as the other counterpart here. I see this as maybe um, representing a marriage or some kind of contract that was a long-term one that is kind of like a part of the story here. So that's what it kind of told me. If it's not that, then this could just mean that you are, you know, learning to get over whatever other individual is in your current thing that you're trying to get past and just become the queen of pentacles or king of pentacles yourself, right? Instead. <coughs> now in your um, environment, like I said, it was the ace of wands. So that's really great. I think it offers a lot of um, new potential for inspiration. Um, new opportunities for growth. And that's where the eight of wands is facing. In your hopes and fears, um, we have the two of cups. So, um, you know, being a Pisces, normally a fear wouldn't come to mind when it comes to relationships or sharing, but that's not necessarily true because it's really also dependent on our own life experiences and what that does to our inner voices, like what we believe in and how we're raised or experiences that traumatize us. So in a sense, this is what you really hope for. You want to find someone else you can share your cup with um, in a trusting and safe way, 
but you fear that you might not get that. <clears throat> um, and then the Three of Pentacles is the overall. Oh, looks good. Yeah. Looks good. So the overall is uh, Three of Pentacles. This is also kind of speaking towards the Ace of Wands here that I see in your environment because I do see that this is um, what whatever it is, like it speaks to communities, it speaks to um, friendships, working as a team. So um, whether it's a work team, whether it's, you know, a collab team, something that is like a kickstart, like a startup team um, to create something. That's what I'm getting. And so it goes in line with with this environment here uh, big time. So I think that there's a lot of promising opportunities for you. Um, overall, though, that's that's what I get. Um, what I will say is that because there's this theme of the page of cups here, um, I do believe that it's going to require you diving deep into not so much the, um, cause I know Pisces, there's the side of Pisces that wants to sacrifice. They're the first signs to willingly sacrifice themselves to benefit others or help other people. But, oh, one. but, um, this I think is going to be key to, um, doing for yourself. So offering that cup to yourself is going to be crucial and um, not allowing yourself though to become the martyr. Don't sacrifice yourself when you don't need to because it's about really peeking into your worth and knowing what you're worth and focusing on your goals and eventually um, things will balance out. So that's what I have for you Pisces. I hope you liked it and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.